Thanks. Let's bring in one of the governors responsible for distributing the vaccine, Governor Larry, Larry Hogan of Maryland. Governor Hogan, thanks for joining us this morning. So your, your, your state's going to get allocated about 155,000 doses of the Pfizer and Moderna vaccine. What's your plan to distribute it? Well, you know, that's not enough even to cover our frontline healthcare workers. We have about 300,000 of those. So our plan, which we submitted to the CDC, uh, prioritizes the most vulnerable. So our frontline healthcare workers, our nursing homes, and the, uh, the then first responders. And as they come in, we just start working our way down that pyramid of a list. And so we're hoping uh, to get maybe 300,000 by the end of uh, December. Uh, and then hopefully that's going to really ramp up from there uh, as production uh, starts to accelerate. So you say it's not enough to cover your health care workers, at least at the beginning. Are these vaccines being distributed in a fair way, in your view? I think they are. Um, you know, I've been uh, critical when I thought that uh, things weren't going well at the federal level. I think Operation Warp Speed is a tremendous uh, success. And all of the communication that we've had with the folks at the federal level has been great. And they've got a good plan, I think, in getting these distributed. The question is just how fast can we get uh, these vaccines out there to cover as many people as we can. And what's your advice to the people of your state as they're waiting for this vaccine? We just saw the mayor of Los Angeles, Eric Garcetti, say cancel everything. Well, you know, sadly, this is uh, the, the darkest days are yet ahead. And, uh, you know, go, hearing the statistics you were just talking about earlier, you know, the worst part of this virus is still coming in the, in, in the weeks and the, maybe the month or two to come. Uh, and we're not going to have enough for everybody. So we're just asking for patience. The good news is the, the cavalry is on the way. There is a light at the end of the tunnel. But we've still got some pain to go through before we get, uh, before we get this under control. And not everybody is yet convinced that it's safe to take this vaccine. Well, it's really important that we that we're able to convince people that it's safe. I mean, I, some of the polling showed that somewhere um, over 50 uh, percent of the people don't feel like they want to get a vaccine. We can't get this under control unless we get uh, somewhere around 70 percent or more of the people to be vaccinated. And, and Governor Hogan, so we've we got to do a good job of convincing people. We sure do. We, we, we saw that moment in your press conference on Tuesday where you uh, teared up uh, as you were talking about the death of that one year old who suffered from COVID. The magnitude of the crisis really seemed to hit home for you in that moment. Well, you know, it's uh, we talk, we have these press conferences, we talk about the deaths or record deaths and record hospitalizations, and and uh, every one of them is, uh, is 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 an important life. And we sometimes we get confused with just talking about numbers. But when I was talking about our youngest one-year-old who died, I, I just I, it just hit me. I was thinking about my grandkids and thinking about those parents. And, and, and Governor, have you have you been able to make contact with the Biden transition? Are you are you convinced that we're going to have a seamless uh, transition uh, when it comes to Operation Warp Speed vaccine distribution dealing with this pandemic? Yes. Well, I was concerned about that at first, but I'm feeling much better about it. I, I uh, with the leadership of the National Governors Association, we had a great conversation with uh, President-elect Biden and uh, Vice President-elect Harris. Um, I, I'm very pleased that it sounds like the Coronavirus Task Force and the current administration is now including them in briefings and bringing them up to speed because it's really we're in the middle of the worst battle of this war and the handoff has got to be smooth. Uh, we've got to work together. There's got to be no politics in this virus. Governor Hogan, thanks very much for your time.